Hi, welcome to Code to Create. I am Macy. In this video, we are going to talk about the IoT kit developed by Google, which is called Android Things. There's so much update has happened to this, especially with how you flash the device. I will show you how to set up your Android Things in a new way with their utility tool and light up some LEDs with the touch screen which came with this kit. So one of the biggest update for this Android things is they actually made a tool for us to flash our device. And if you go to the Android things console, the interface looks the same. But when you open this main menu, click the tools window, you will see the new setup utility tool. It is actually very helpful. After you download it, open the folder, just click on the version you want. I'm on a Mac and use just a simple command tool. Like do what you want to install. You want to set up through a Wi-Fi or you want to set up a Wi-Fi on existing Android things. Also make sure your device is plugged in through the USB-C cable. I realized the most tricky part for hardware development is the cable. It's really critical. If you're using Samsung other kind of cables, it just doesn't work as what we expected. So say install Android things and they were asking you what kind of board you have. And we just say Pico MX70 and then they were finding things, asking more questions. I usually just go for the default image and then they will download the image and go through everything. And once everything's connected, you just install, you will just flash the whole device for you. If you run into all the uh, examples on the Android things, GitHub directory, and somehow there are some libraries missing or things were not working just try use this tool to flash your to your android things and it will solve most of your problems so here i have the android studio open i have the simple ui activity download from their official website i will post the link down below and here is the simple UI I got. What this example does is just go through all the pins we have on the board and show us basic connections, like how things gonna work. It did not work for me right away because my board was old. I just had to go back to run through the Android Things utility tools to update my Android Things board. So once you have here, you can see you have the app running. Just Make sure your device is connected and click build and run. Here is my Android things. I will show you how I wired it up. So at first we need to find the ground. I will share the pin map here, but basically they're numbered at the very front. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Pin six is ground. So I took it out as a ground and I test a couple of other pins. So this one I'm using is pin 15. This is a pin 29. You can actually test it around to figure out which pin is actually working. It is actually a really good way to testing out which pin is which. And here is how I wired my breadboard. You can see I saw the ground coming back and I shared it with the two LEDs and then they all go through resistors and they're connected to the board through different pins. There are pin 15 and pin 29. And again, I just want to remind you, the LEDs has two sides. The longer side is the power side and the shorter side should connect it to the ground. And of course, this one is more obvious, you can see they have different length and of course this one, this one, the longer one is the positive side and then the shorter one goes to the ground. Okay, let me run the example and just please make sure you use the USB-C cable that came with this kit. 
just plug it in and I already have the example uploaded it will be running right away so now the app is running it's as exactly the same as what they were showing me so see those two lights are dimmed let's see if you can see if it's bright enough let me just cover it let's try the first one light up dimmed light up dimmed let's try the third one. Oh, light up both light up so here is the demo and it's a really good way for us to understand the board and mapping everything properly thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell this way you will not miss any new content from me and if you love this video please give us a thumbs up this way I know you actually like this kind of content so I can make more videos related to this topic and you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Macy Kwa and see you next video